Jadies and Lentilmen, in the interest of cornering the market on hot glue, I was in my local Lidl or Lidl or Lidl or L-I-D-L store. I think it's Lidl, but I pronounce it Little, like it's actually Little. But it's actually quite big, actually bigger than an Aldi, because they are a competitor to Aldi. Anyway, here is a Pistola Electrica de Pegamento. Oops, sorry, wrong country. See, you just flip it to the other side of the world, and there's a hot glue gun. It's the Parkside brand, which is their house brand. Uh, Aldi has their own house brand stuff, like Ambiano and blah 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 So these are all just made-up names that don't mean anything. It's a hot glue gun. And I don't need it. And it was 10 bucks, and it came in a blow-molded case. And I said, I'm not going to be a fool and leave this in the store. Um, it doesn't mention if it's high or low temperature, but it does say that it uses full-size glue sticks, which I would take that to mean a high-temperature gun. But it claims it only uses 25 watts. It says heat up time is 5 minutes to reach 302 degrees Fahrenheit. Max temperature is 374 Fahrenheit. It's a power cord or cordless after heating up on charging stand. And three glue sticks, three nozzles, one short round pre-mounted, one short flat, and one long. For standard glue sticks, glue sticks, 7 16 inch, 11 millimeter in diameter. And two operating modes, cord-free operation for brief, limited gluing jobs, or plug-in power cord. And here is the base thing for it. And uh, allegedly it even has a three-year warranty because these German grocery stores believe in that. Now, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this thing. I might actually just give it away to somebody. I know somebody who could use a glue gun and this may fit the bill. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do that or not. But if I really can't find a use for it, that is what I will do. Anyway, let's go pop the cable tie on here. Get this taken out of the box and see what it's about. In the box is a wrinkly, crinkly manual. The gun itself with a flip-out turret... Um, stand like that. There is indeed a nozzle already mounted. I'll give you a close-up of those in a bit. Power cord goes to a figure eight style connector. Here's a stand for it. Figure eight to figure eight. So the idea of this is that you could plug this in over here or something and then pull it off of here and take it along with you. The little hang tag I think is basically trying to say don't unscrew this stuff when it's hot or don't try to pull it straight out. And the base, this part is spring-loaded that plugs into the gun as you see how it sort of tilts like that and sort of sits there. So that's kind of nice in and of itself and then you have to pull it off of the thing which isn't too bad, but I found it's like a kind of odd angle that you have to get that started on. There it is, and then it'll sit there. It's a little weird that way, but you don't have to use that base if you don't want, and you can plug that power cord directly in here. Also looks like it has a pilot light on it uh, to uh, show you when the gun is plugged in. So, uh, let's take a look at the other tips here. Let me take this one out. It unscrews by hand. They all have little rubber O-rings. Let me get these all out of the case here and set up next to each other. So you have your roundy one. You have a slightly smaller 
maybe even the same size with a bit longer tip. That's handy for getting into tight spots. And one with a flat nozzle, as you see there. There are three glue sticks that are included, which are really tight in there, so I'm not going to bother taking them out. I'm going to use one of mine, because I want to see how that works with this gun. So while you can use the gun with it plugged in to make use of this little drip tray, as you see, which is just a silicone insert, uh, not really. It's kind of wibbly-wobbly on there. Not too good. You're better off just setting it down separate, which is what I would do anyway because it has its own stand. So, I this is more of a gimmick. But you gotta say, even though, yes, the gun is only 25 watts, to get a blow-molded case, forget the three glue sticks that cost nothing, this jobby, whatever it's, you know, for whatever it's worth, and two extra nozzles and a three-year warranty for ten dollars you know that's not really a bad deal but we of course have to see how this performs now it says it heats up to 302 degrees in five minutes i'm going to go ahead and get a glue stick get everything set up here we'll plug it in and test that claim okay i have one of my own glue sticks in here can you see how it's yellowed that's what happens if you let hot glue sticks sit around. These have been stored in the box where I keep all that stuff and just over the years it is yellowed. So if you over buy hot glue it's going to yellow, require a higher temperature in order to melt and also not ad adhere as properly to whatever you're actually gluing. That's what happens when you don't listen to the voice of reason. <clears throat> There's our light. It is 355. We'll go ahead and kick that on, and indeed, it lights up. I will come back at 4 sharp, and we will give this a shot. Okay, it's 4 on the dot. Now, granted, this is sort of an unfair test for the very first time. This has never been primed with glue, so the output may not be that good. It certainly is quite warm, to the point where I don't want to keep my hand there, a red light is still on, and let us just see. The movement so far on this trigger is so smooth. There he goes, okay. Oh yeah, that'll lay down a ropey strand. So even at 25 watts, it's melting this glue, which is high temp glue. Is it the hottest I've ever felt? No. Certainly is a bit stringy, so it is maybe a bit low temperature in that regard, but it certainly seems to pump the glue out without any problem. So I think for a lot of jobs it would be just fine looks good. Um, let me leave this cook for another few minutes and I'm gonna get my regular gun that I always use and plug that in and we'll compare a uh, well a ropey strand next to one another from that to this. Oh they're brothers. One from another mother that was another color but uh, beg my pardon. Um, yeah, okay, so I have my other gun plugged in. I'm going to let everything heat up nicely. So far, you know, for $10, this gun being made in China with all of the accoutrement and a three-year warranty, which is more than you would get on just about any other brand, especially an old, large, too high of a wattage glue gun that is from 1978 you know who you are that has no warranty and you had to fix the damn thing out of the box as it was uh mr chinaman 
made a gun that actually works well. The trigger is very smooth. I gotta say it's even smoother than my AdTech gun, which I absolutely love. This is my go-to gun. And the difference is absolutely amazing in how smooth the trigger is on here. The trigger seems to have a shorter throw than on this one, but anyway, let me let everything heat up. This will heat up to its maximum temperature, and this gun will get up to its temperature, and then we'll do a comparison. Oh, they're sick. They have drippy noses. Well, that's normal. That's why the uh, base for this had that little cup thing. It's supposed to happen. Well, that's fine and good. So we'll put a line right here. And now I'll try this gun. Interesting. I gotta squeeze my old one a lot harder. Maybe it's not quite heated up all the way, but I had to squeeze that a lot, and you can see the bead. Uh, here, we'll go here. Yeah. You get a much fatter bead out of this one. Yeah, it barely wants to move. I'll leave this heat up for a little bit longer and we'll see what happens. All right, this has been cooking for some time longer. Ah, getting better. Yeah, there we go. A lot of bubbles in it for whatever reason. Now it's flowing, so it just wasn't heated up enough. Here's to compare. Oh yeah, see how it's gushing now? It wasn't heated up enough. But this guy over here, which I've also left cooking this whole time. Just get the glue flowing. Yeah, it moves. There's actually smoke coming out of it. Oh, that's wonderful smelling stuff. That is wonderful smelling stuff. There he goes. So it works roughly about the same. I'll let it burn off whatever it's burning off. That's probably the China chemicals, like I said. <coughs> Ugh, yeah. But hey, it works. And it works as well as this gun, which... Just took longer to heat up for whatever reason, but it did. But hey, you know, it's gushing out just about as well. Good for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it away. Maybe I won't. I don't really have a particular use for it, but uh, it's otherwise a nice glue gun. I'm not going to demonstrate the other nozzles, but hey, if you have a little and you need a glue gun, this Parkside gun... Ain't a bad deal for 10 bucks. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.